Hi, I am Siddhant Ora and I am here to present our two pass low latency end to end spoken language understanding system. As automatic speech recognition systems are getting better, there is an increasing interest of using the ASR output to do downstream natural language processing task. Spoken language understanding is the task of inferring the semantic meaning of spoken utterances. Spoken language understanding consists of two subtasks. The first subtask converts speech representations to word representations, and the second subtask extracts the intent of the spoken utterance. Spoken language understanding is an essential component of many daily applications like voice systems, social bots, and intelligent home devices. It comprises widespread applications of semantic understanding from spoken utterances. Some examples include recognizing the intent and the associated entities of a user's command to take the appropriate action, understanding the emotion behind a particular utterance, or engaging in a conversation with a user by modeling the topic of the conversation. Conventional SLU systems consist of a pipeline-based model where a speech recognition system converts the input audio into text, followed by a natural language understanding system that produces intent from the predicted text. This enables utilizing the vast abundance of ASR and NLU research for quick development of SLU systems. However, the cascaded systems suffer from various drawbacks. First, errors in ASR transcript can adversely affect the performance of the NLU models. Second, the audio signal consists of non-phonemic signals such as pauses, intonations, which can provide additional cues to determine the semantic content of an utterance that a text-based system cannot capture. As a result, many end-to-end -end SLU models have been proposed that can avoid the drawbacks of the cascaded system by identifying intent directly from the audio. Further, end-to-end -end SLU models have a smaller carbon footprint, making them particularly attractive for performing on-device SLU. However, recent work has shown that end-to-end -end SLU systems struggle to generalize to unique phrasings for the same intent, suggesting an opportunity for enhancing the semantic modeling of existing SLU systems. A number of approaches have been proposed to learn the semantic content directly from the audio. However, they often have a high latency, which can affect the naturalness of the human-machine interaction when these systems are deployed in commercial applications like voice assistants. In this work, we propose a two-pass SLU architecture that extends the prior research by building SLU systems that not only model the semantic content of an utterance, but also with low latency. The key contributions of our work are summarized as follows. Inspired by two-pass ASR systems, we propose a two-pass SLU system where the second-pass model can use both the acoustic embeddings from the first-pass encoder and semantic embeddings of the ASR hypothesis generated from a pre-trained language model. We were further able to show that our two-pass SLU system can improve the intent classification performance particularly for unseen word phrases. We also observed that the first pass system can achieve decent intent classification accuracy with reduced latency by looking at only the first few seconds of the audio. By running the first pass model only when its confidence is high, we can reduce the overall inference time of our system. We further make all our code and models publicly available. The architecture of our two-pass SLU system is shown in the figure. The input to our system is a T-length audio feature sequence. 
the input speed signal is passed to an acoustic encoder to generate the acoustic embedding. The first pass decoder then inputs the acoustic embedding and generates both intent and the ASR transcript. The ASR transcript is first tokenized and then passed to a pre-trained language model to generate semantic representations. The semantic representations are then passed to a linear layer to produce representations with the same hidden dimension as the acoustic embedding. The acoustic and semantic embeddings are concatenated together and are then attended by a deliberation encoder to produce the joint embedding. The second pass decoder then inputs the joint embedding to generate a D second pass intent. Further, we can observe that both the first pass and second pass SLU system share the acoustic encoder, hence reducing the carbon footprint of our system. Similar to prior work on two-pass ASR systems, we use a two-step training process for our SLU system. In the first step, we train only the acoustic encoder and first-pass decoder to train the acoustic modeling of our SLU architecture. In the second step, the model learns to combine semantic and acoustic information by training the deliberation encoder and the second-pass decoder. We do not use teacher forcing during the second phase and the model is trained using the ASR transcripts. Our decoding also consists of two phases. First, we get the intent and ASR transcript from the first pass decoder. And second, we attend to both the ASR transcript and acoustic embeddings to get the second pass intent. This two phase inference step can reduce our system's overall latency as I will discuss later. We evaluate our proposed approach on publicly available SLU datasets, namely the Fluent Speech Commands or FSC dataset and the Slurp dataset. FSC is a free, reasonably large SLU dataset that contains around 30,000 utterances and includes 31 intent types. For the FSC dataset, we use the challenge test split, which consists of two set test sets, challenge speaker set with held out speakers and challenge utterance set with held out utterances. Slurp contains 72,000 real and 69,000 synthetic utterances of single turn user conversation with a home assistant, making it closer to real life application scenarios. It includes 69 intent types and has much higher lexical and semantic diversity than most publicly available SLU datasets. In the given slide, we can see that our proposed two-pass SLU system outperforms the only acoustic-based SLU system both on FSC challenge utterance and speaker test set. We observe an absolute 3.8% improvement for the unseen utterance set, indicating that our approach is better at generalizing to unique phrasings of a given intent. This provides evidence that pre-trained language models can be used to enhance the semantic modeling of SLU systems and can help bridge the gap between SLU and text on the NLU architectures. We further investigated running our two-pass system using ground truth text and report that our approach outperforms the text-only performance. Based on these results, we hypothesized that speech contains non-phonemic signals like pauses, intonations that can help improve performance over text-only systems. We investigated the system performance on predicting intent only from the first few seconds of the audio. Our experiments shown in figure demonstrate that we can achieve decent accuracy while making significant reductions in the inference time per utterance by using only the first two seconds of the audio. Our final architecture uses the only speech model that predicts using the first two seconds 
as our first pass SLU system. And the speech press transcript model that predicts using the entire audio as our second pass SLU system. For the FSC challenge test set, the inference time of the first pass model is nearly 75% of that of the second pass model. We found that a majority of the performance gains from the second pass model occur when the first pass model is not confident about its predictions, as shown in the table. Motivated by this observation, we use the second pass model only when the first pass model is not confident about its predictions, that is, confidence score less than 80%, to reduce the overall latency of our SLU system. Through this setup, we were able to improve on the only acoustic-based SLU system by achieving 80.6% accuracy, while also predicting on average 90% faster than the second pass SLU system for the FSC utterance test set. We further observed that first pass and second pass SLU models have very similar accuracy when the word error rate of the first pass ASR transcript is lower than 5%, making nearly 47% of the spoken utterances in the unseen utterance set. However, the second pass model improved performance significantly when the word error rate of the first pass ASR transcript was high. After fine-grained analysis, we inferred that while some of these cases belongs to spoken utterances that had intent relevant information in the later part of the audio, other cases of performance difference can be attributed to better semantic modeling, which even helped the model to recover from errors in the ASR transcript. We also brought the attention heat map to illustrate that our proposed system can recover from ASI errors. Figure shows a sample attention map for spoken utterance in the FSC dataset, which says increase the heating in the washroom. The ASI transcript that the second pass model attempts to reads increase the heating in the US room. We observe that the model attempts more to keywords in transcript like increase and heating. Further, it attempts to the part of the speech that says washroom to recover from the error in the ASR transcript. To conclude, we propose a novel two-pass SLU system that combines semantic and acoustic information to achieve higher quality prediction while reducing the latency of the SLU system. We show evidence that our approach can improve performance on the existing spoken language understanding benchmarks, particularly in generalization to new phrasings for the same intent. We further gain an understanding of the reasons for the improvement in the performance of our second pass SLU system and observe that our approach can correctly extract intent from utterances that are challenging for the ASR systems. Thanks for watching. We look forward to hearing your questions in the oral session.